Hey guys, Adrian here for the Digital Dojos. Today we're reviewing the I Love Dual Music Dock for your iPod and iPhone. So this can house two iPods here. You can see on your left and right side here. Um, but usually my iPhone or your iPod Touch, it's um, the right side is meant for an iPhone or iPod Touch. And I'm using the iPhone to record right now, so we only have one iPod in. Alright, so this is a music dock slash alarm and radio. So it's all a three-in-one device. And so I'm going to go ahead and turn around so you guys can see how it looks here. So it's kind of bulky. It has uh, two big speakers on here and some holes for the bass and treble to, uh, the bass and sound to uh, kind of, you know, transfer through. So um, it uses a technology, a sound technology called J Aurora. And um, you can see the actual diagram here of the uh, sound here on the box. So I'm just going to go ahead and go ahead and close up on here on the box. So that's the actual inside, how the J Aurora sound works. All right, so I'm going to move the box out of the way now. All right, so here is the back of the device. The back of the device houses a, it's pretty cool, a magnet for your remote control here. So this is the I Love remote control with all your media controls on it. It has a magnet built in right here, so you can just drop it in and it houses right there and it attaches and stays pretty sturdy on the back of the device and you can just snap it right off. On the back, your ports are, uh, you have your port for this is your power, right here is your daylight saving time switch, plus one or minus one. Um, your FM antenna here for radio. Uh, your, if you want to plug in headphones, your dock, if you want to listen to it just through headphones. Or your auxiliary in for a 3.5 millimeter jack that can be plugged in there as well. Alright, going back to the front of the device here, you have the LED screen here that has the time along with your whatever mode you're on. So I can switch between iPod, the FM radio, or the auxiliary port, if you want to plug in another device to it. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at the controls on the top of the device here. Here you have your switch for your dial for volume and the button for changing the modes. I believe these are for your playlist, 1 through 8 here, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, and stuff like that. It's just media controls. Uh, alarm 1 and Alarm 2 buttons, so you can set two alarms. That sync, they have something called time sync technology, which syncs with your iPod. Auto scan or play, this is just your play and pause button. Your up here is your select or time sync button, as I was just talking about. This is just to sleep for the actual whole device, just to sleep, and you have a power button. On here, you have the ability to set your bass, treble, and uh, time here. So, this is just basically if I was to hit this, you can see it has treble here, bass, and iPod, which is your normal. And if you want to set the treble, you can, you know, obviously use the dial over here. Alright, so, um, the actual product. Um, now, the sound is pretty rich sound. It's uh, not, a hu you know, not a heavy bass, but a decent bass. Um, here you have, I forgot to mention this button, here's the dimmer or the snooze. This allows you to adjust the brightness on the actual uh, dock itself. Now, um, I'm going to play a little bit of the song here just to show you the sound. Again, this really doesn't justify the sound just because uh, the whole garbage in, garbage out, you know. The microphone that's taking in the sound isn't doing the sound justice and whatever speakers you're listening to and on. Isn't, so you're not going to get the full quality of the sound, obviously, but again, just to kind of show you uh, the sound here. So you can control using the remote here. You can switch between iPods, just left or right here. So I'm going to turn this up. I'm going to turn the bass up. Alright, so obviously you can see there, it's not a heavy bass, as I was saying, it's just a light bass. Um, and here you can switch between the left or right depending on what iPod you want to listen to. And you also have the uh, power button here on the remote mute button, the ability to you know switch between songs here, adjust the volume, play pause, and you have some presets here that you can adjust. Um, and you know mode, sleep, and bass and treble. All right, so um, that's their media remote, and it works uh, fair range. It's not you know nothing too bad. And now another thing about this device is I disconnect the iPod here. On the bottom here, you have access to, I can just take this power off here, you have access to a battery compartment right there. So I can actually take this and take this on the go if I put, I believe it's two AAA batteries in here and it works on the go. So if you want to take it to like a party or a friend's house or something like that, you don't need to connect the AC adapter. In. All right, overall, this is a pretty great device. It's great to have, you know, your iPods docked in, something to have on your desk to listen to your music. And the remote works great. Um... It is uh, not, you know, the best in sound quality. It's a decent sound quality. The bass isn't too, you know, heavy along with the treble. So, you know, audiophiles may not like the dock that much. But for a basic dock, um, and it's price point, I believe, it's priced at 
if I'm not mistaken, I believe 40, 50 bucks. Uh, it's a mid-range dock and it works well. You know, it's 2.1 stereo, so you have one left stereo here, right stereo there, and then the uh, obviously the other for bass and everything like that. All right, so um, that is it for the dock um, cons. I'm gonna say again, the bass uh, price point's pretty good. I'm gonna say that's not bad. I like the ability to put two iPods in and it has support for the iPhone. Um, the time sync feature is another great pro, so it works great as an alarm clock. Um, but the other con I do want to mention is the settings, like to actually set up the alarm and set up some settings. It's kind of confusing. You do have to actually go through the manual and actually see how to set it up. Again, this is just another overview. I like the design of it, though. It looks r really well. I like how they have the magnetic thing on the back. So, out of a 10-star rating, I'm only going to give it a 6.5. Uh, there are some better docks out there for the mid-range, but if you just want a nice dock that can house two iPods, this one does the job. All right. Guys, so thanks for the review. Or thanks for watching. Catch more of the review and other posts in our website at digitaldojos.com. All right, guys, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and thanks for watching.